Hi everyone, my name is Mike from Yoga Tido and this video is going to be taking a look at Ult Plati Scrum Pose, which is a posture that happens right at the end of the Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga practice. So it's a posture where um, you lift yourself up for 10 counts in the full lotus position. So first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how long 10 counts really is. How long it really is. Okay. So the count is 10 slow Ujjayi breaths. So it's not this, it's not like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then back down. That's cheating. And you won't get the kind of uh, strength elements that you want from the posture, particularly trying to stabilize the shoulders and really uh, tensing the core as well. So obviously in terms of technique, like any lifting posture, you want the hands to be in front of the hips, pressing the palms, lifting up. So when you lift up, the knees kind of lift up a little bit with it. And then your eye gaze drishti, very important to you, always keeping the eye gaze up, lifting the chest up. So the eye gaze, I tend to look kind of uh, in between the two eyes, really, so kind of like the third eye area. Uh, and that helps to maintain that kind of upward motion of the posture. Um, if you cannot sit, uh, well, if you can sit in full lotus, but you can't quite lift up, then you can use blocks. So you place the blocks by the side, send your finger in front of the hip, press the palms, lift yourself up, exactly the same points. Um, if you cannot sit in the full lotus, and that's fine, you can still practice the posture, which is a, it's a little bit difficult. This is actually harder to do when you cross the legs like this, using the blocks. You can try and do it like that for 10, which is actually really difficult. Or if you can't lift your whole body weight up, feet on the floor, lifting the hips up, the feet down into the mat for 10. And obviously you can do those variations without the blocks as well. So either like this or like this. We just keep the feet on the floor and the hips lifted. Or if you do have any shoulder issues, then sometimes for students I just say as an option just to press the palms, shoulders back without any lift at all, but still looking on. So you've still got that, intent, that intention of just working the wrists and shoulders and drawing the navel in. So it's a posture that can easily be modified to suit everyone uh, to practice. Okay, and the main thing is this is a kind of mental state of mind because when you're up there, it's so tempting just to breathe a lot quicker. Like, like that, and just to get the temper itself away. But you've got to just kind of learn to calm the mind, take nice and deep Ujjayi breaths. Um, I mean, sometimes I don't put the hold of 20 breaths, uh, just to kind of, you know, hold in that uncomfortable position, because that's where real growth comes from when you're doing something that you don't like doing really, because it is uncomfortable, but you try and hold as long as you can kind of work a little bit into that uncomfortable
difficult situations you gain stronger, not just physically, but also mentally as well. Okay, and thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this useful. Namaste.